E, what is going on, guys? I'm Trevor Jim. Back with the video We got Tom McDonald Fake Love. Now, I did listen to this song once through, but I didn't really catch any of the bars. So, technically, this is a more of a bar reaction than a music reaction, but this is more of a song review. It's, it's a mix. Because I didn't really listen, like, like what the bar is that? What bar is that? No, I literally just uh, was playing games, saw this, turned it on, and watched it. Uh, but I didn't really pay attention to uh, the lyrics. But this is called Fake Woke. Fake Woke. Fake Woke. Let's get into it. Yes, I know I look stupid in this fucking thing. Sure, but I have to go from this myself. Anyways, let's get into this. By the way, respect Tom, Tom McDonald for always speaking the truth. I don't care what y'all say. He's always speaking the truth. I think it's crazy I'm the one who they labeled as controversial. And Cardi B is the role model for 12-year-old girls. There's rappers pushing Xanax and... The top of sure, like she always pushes for like feminism and women should be created not as objects, but then she goes and creates a song that I think WAP was by her, and but then she expects to not have men think of women as objects when you put out a song that sexual. Come on, dude, you gotta think better. There's a lot better role models out there for this. Anyways. But a billboard, but if I mention race in a song, I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's backwards, it's getting exponentially dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. M it's facts. This next Eminem bar I heard, man, I don't agree with. But. Backwards, it's getting exponentially dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom, and now he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump. That's not true. He said it in a, in a freestyle. But he didn't mean it towards eminent Trump fans. But and he retracted that statement in Kamikaze, saying I did not mean to do that. So this kind of that would kind of piss me off. But otherwise, I understand. We're ashamed to be American. You should probably love it, because you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public. It's fucking facts. Anywhere else in the world that you talk shit about that country or that leader, your head is gone. And you, your family will be brainwashed to figure out that you make you think that you never existed. People wake up and realize how good you have to hear. Yeah, I don't, you had the right to protest, you had the right to speak your mind, but come on, you gotta at least respect America for at least giving you the right to say that shit. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk, but the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture runs the world now, the planet went crazy. Label everything we say as homophobic or racist. If you're white, then you're privileged, guilty by association. All our childhood heroes got me too or the rapists. They never freed the slaves. They realized that they don't need the chains. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. They knew that race war would be the game they need to play. For people to big teams, they used the media to feed the flame. This song's gonna piss a lot of people off. I already fucking know it. People stop thinking that Tom McDonald's racist. He's not. He's just speaking his fucking mind and truth. Truth hurts sometimes. Listen to Tom McDonald, and you might get pissed off. This truth. The media is playing us with the race war, and they're saying, oh, you one such hate each other, the other such hate the other. Stop fucking playing that game, dude. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings. They know they won't tell me what to believe in. They so fake woke. Same old, same songs. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about your feelings. I like that. I like the bounce to this. One more beat. I have a lot more bounce than most of the songs. I like this song. It's one of my favorites. Crazy all these people screaming facts, but they fake woke. Hate their neighbor because he wears a mask or he stays home. Has a daughter, but his favorite artist said he slays hoes. Picks her up from school. Music slaps on the way home. Censorship's an issue because they choose what they erase. There's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate. I think Black Lives Matter was the stupidest name when the system's screwing everyone exactly the same. Again, you guys are not going to think that's right, but it is. It's not really, it's not really, it just doesn't matter. It's really more of a rich for the elites versus the poor. Whoever's on top is going to be able to hold down whoever's on bottom. No matter who it is, no matter what color your skin you are, it does not matter. We're all being pressured down and beaten down by the rich. I might get, this might, this video might get taken down because I'm saying shit. Whatever. I just want to spend Thanksgiving Day with food and my family without being accused of celebrating native casualties.
I'm so sick of people saying you shouldn't be able to celebrate Christmas or Thanksgiving with your family. Shut the fuck up. I will celebrate whatever holiday I would like with my family. Now, will I join others that I don't know in my family? No. But I'm joining my family for a holiday that we've done for years. It's not selfish. It's just coming together as a family. We got so divided, it's black and white and political. Republicans are bigots, libtards if you're liberal. There's riots in our streets and it's just getting worse. Y'all screaming deep on the police. Y'all are genius for sure. They're underfunded already. They're way- Whoa, that was a little sarcasm there. Uh, like, I don't understand the reason of defunding the police. You, you will get beat up, and you can't start calling for the cops, and you want to defend the police. It's kind of ironic that you're asking for the police when you're the same person that says you want to defund the police. Now, do I think that they have enough, way too much money? No. Do I think there's racist cops? Yes. But most of them are good fucking people that just want to do their job. And if we take away money and you all y'all are claiming about like better training, you do know it takes money to train people, right? Just saying. I'm not saying, oh, we should give them more money, just maybe strike against them. Not against the fucking government, but against them if you want to actually defund the police. So I'm just but it's whatever. Um that's just my opinion. Too busy to work. Order food and call the cops. See what reaches you first. Segregation. It's true. Segregation ended. That's a lie in itself. That was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help. They knew that racism was hot if they designed it to sell. We buy up every single box and divide us ourselves. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings. They know they won't tell me why. This fucking chorus is fucking amazing, first of all. Holy shit. It has such a good fucking bounce to it, dude. Like, holy shit. We use violence to get peace and wonder why it isn't working. That's like sleeping with a football team to try and be a virgin. Politicians are for sale and someone always makes the purchase. But you and I cannot afford it. Our democracy is worthless. If a man has mental illness, call him crazy. Say it silently. When country's going crazy, we accept it as society. Get sick and take a pill. When the side effects get you high, you get addicted like these rappers dying, fighting with sobriety. Oh, a lot of... People take drugs to get high, and but they don't understand the side effects are very fucking dangerous. Like juice world for a second, rest in peace with juice world. But drugs and alcohol are not the way to go with the depression and shit. There's a lot of fucking shit that you don't see in drugs that actually hurt you a lot. You see a lot of these rappers dying because of it. Even like with past people like Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin, who have overdosed on drugs, it kills you. Drugs do kill. Censoring the facts turns our children into idiots. They claim it's for our safety. I'll tell you what it really is. Removing information that empowers all the citizens. The truth doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate. They're trying to change amen to amen and women. How do we let them make praying a microaggression? <laughs> I'm not religious, but that is fucking stupid. Like, it's just amen. Amen is not fucking misogynist. It's just amen. It's not a man. It's amen. So stop like, oh, you fucking have men in it. You know, dude, realize that fucking women have fucking men in it, right? Just saying. Instead of asking God for the strength to keep winning, we cheat to get ahead and then we ask him for forgiveness. Feminism used to be the most righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. I don't... I mean, it's not a secret. They've, they've said it before. I kill all men. But yeah, I understand. Trust anyone who bleeds for a week and don't die. I'm just kidding. But everything else that I said is right. They so fake woke on facts don't care about feelings they know they won't tell me what to believe in they so fake woke same woke same songs they so fake woke facts don't care about your feelings no, facts don't care about your feelings exactly I think I forget who said that I saw it from um, Tom, not Tommy, I'm Charlie Kirk saying that, but facts don't care about your feelings. 
So why y'all getting hella triggered when somebody tells you a fact? Not their opinion, but a fact that is statistically proven to be right. Now, if they had, they had their facts wrong, you can counter-argue it. Argue, or counter-argue it, but don't call them dumbass. You're fucking stupid. Just cause more fucking hate and divide division. That's what the media wants. Now, if you want to have a decent debate, go right ahead. But, again, don't let your emotions get in the way of facts. So, let's finish this up. I'm not done. I'm going to hear the beat a little bit. Not beat, but just want to see how I can do. Okay, he's not, like, stopping it right away. He's actually just going to roll. Anyways, uh, that song is fucking dope. Uh, it's, he said what was needed to be said. What I've been wanting to say for a while now. And um, really hope you guys enjoyed this. This song is definitely a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. I can't tell anymore. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a number of daily listen for me. Uh, but let me know down in the comments if you guys agree with this message. If you guys disagree, I will always, I'll, either way, I will heart and like your comment and respond. And if you want to have a debate in the comments, go right ahead. But don't hate me for it. Don't unsubscribe because of my opinion. Just try to see my opinion and see his opinion in it. And um, just try to look on the other point of view. That's all I'm trying to say. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Keep on trending. Bye, guys.